What's up, guys? Welcome to another Bud and Mary's Dock Walk. We got some great offshore and inshore fishing action out of Isla Mirada and Bud and Mary's. It's the weekend after Thanksgiving. The weather's still nice and warm. Fish are snapping. Check out what was caught down there recently. All right, guys, so we have the boys here, and uh, they just got finished fishing on the Catch-22. Um, how'd you guys do out there today? Fantastic. Wonderful. We, never I saw... Been Never been fishing for sales before and uh, got uh, two singles, a double, and a triple. I was going to say, I saw all those flags flying. I got a really good shot of you guys coming in. Um, have you guys ever experienced anything like that before? Nope. No, sir. Have you ever caught a sailfish before? Not until today. Wow. So what was the biggest one you guys got? I uh, couldn't tell you. They were saying they were uh, between 50 and 70 pounds. That's awesome. Was there some uh, good jumping involved? Oh yeah, yeah spectacular. Very cool. Was the water shallow? Were you guys able to sight cast to them? We did. We sight casted all of them. That's awesome. And where are you guys from? Tampa. From Tampa. Have you ever been to Buddy Mary's before? Yes, we have. And uh, what would you say about Dr. Scott and the Catch-22 and their crew? It's fantastic. Absolutely. Deep sea dive or fishing we've been to. Hey, well, we appreciate it, guys, and have safe travels back home. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming down. All right, thank you. All right, so today we fished aboard the Catch-22 guys out of Bud and Mary's. Um, it was variable winds today, less than five knots all day, so it was really nice and beautiful. We finally had some nice blue water in on the reef, and uh, Scott Stanzik, the captain, was able to do what he does best, and we rode around all day and sniffed out some swimming sailfish, and, and we're able to present baits to them, live baits, a mixture of ballyhoos and pilchards and whatnot, and able to get bites. And, we got bites out of seven today, and we were able to catch seven, so it was pretty good. We batted a thousand percent today, seven for seven. And our people, first time ever catching a sailfish, we had a couple singles, one double, and a triple header at the end of the day to set it all off. It was, it was awesome. Like I said, fishing with Scott Stanzig, Jerry, and myself on the Catch-22. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. All right. See you next you. time. All right, guys. So I'm over here on the Dauntless. And uh, we have Captain Jimmy and his wife Caroline. And uh, what did you guys just get back from doing? Uh, actually, I had a charter today, and uh, we just got in, so we're just cleaning up now. But uh, I'm getting ready to take a stone crab charter out, bait up some traps. Awesome. Can we see what the bait looks like? Oh, yeah. We have some bonitas over here. Pink's cut up. Wow, it looks like you guys are set. Oh, yeah. Jimmy catches all the bait, and then we get to take charters out. That's awesome. So, you, uh, Caroline, you do charters on your own, right? Yep. Yeah, I've got a little 17-foot Boston Whaler. We do stone crab charters on. Cool. So if people come down here and they want to go catch stone crab, they can reach out to you. Yep. Awesome. So we'll put the link for her uh, website and uh, Instagram and everything. And if you guys are down here and you want to go do something different, um, reach out to Caroline. She'll take you out and help you out. And uh, I heard you had a good day today too, man. Yeah, yeah, fishing was good. Caught um, a variety of things, snappers, tunas. Actually caught a big African pompano. They're kind of rare, so it was a pretty neat catch. That's awesome, and, man. Um, yeah, just bouncing around on the reef pretty close right now. There's a variety of fish out there. So. What do you think about this weather? Uh, it's nice. It's a nice day we've had in a long time, so we're enjoying <laughs> it. So. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, I'll let you guys get back to work. All righty. You guys have a good afternoon. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye, yeah. Caroline. Bye. All right, guys. We have Eric and James here, and uh, they just got finished fishing on the Endeavor with Hunter. Uh, how'd you guys do today? Pretty great. We caught uh, two sailfish and uh, hooked up two others, didn't get them to the boat. And a uh, couple of, couple of uh, fish for the icebox as well. Excellent. And were you guys live baiting? Uh, yes, we were. Yep. That's cool. Is this your first time doing anything like this? Uh, not not the first time, but the first time at Alvarado. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Definitely you, be back. Where are you guys from? Fernandina Beach, Florida. From where? Fernandina Beach, Florida. Oh, Fernandina. Okay, yeah. up in northeast Florida. That's yeah. right. Excellent. So you guys are the, the, the big redfish, the bull run yep. reds are just finishing up there, right? Yep, yep. That's uh, so You guys do a lot of fishing up there, too? We do a little bit. Awesome, man. Well, we appreciate you guys coming down to Bud and Mary's. Awesome. Thanks right. for having us. We'll, we'll be see, back. We'll see you guys next time. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Captain Klein, you're on the wrong boat today, huh? Yep, I'm on the wrong boat. I'm spiking a big kingfish. She's... Look at this, guys. She's oh. Oh. Half day. Oh. <laughs> half day happens. It's kind of ugly looking when you go. Know. 
Um, <laughs> spike How'd you guys do today, man? We did good. We caught a trip. lunker, lunker kingfish, right there. How many pounds is that kingfish? Is? He's over 30. He's probably 30, 33, around there. These are probably like 20 something. Nice fish. All right, guys. I'm here with Evan Rob and uh, Captain Eric Overs. So, how'd you guys do today? Captain Eric. Oh, Captain Eric's the guy, man. Let we me did tell pretty you. well. Put us on the fish. Yeah. And uh, where did you guys fish today? Did you do a whole day, half day? Uh, we I, don't, I don't privilege him with that information. <laughs> I don't tell him where we're fishing. We just go In fish. the back country. Yeah, we back country. Back country. Yeah. Spend a lot of time. Let me tell you something. We've been out with a lot of captains over the years. This is the best run we've had. Yeah. Uh, that's like yeah, the fisher electric that. this morning. Snook, reds, trout, black drum, the whole shebang. Artificial, live bait. We did it all. It was really fantastic. That's awesome. Is this your first time coming down to Bud Mary's? First uh, time here. Yeah, first time out of this marina, I think. Certainly won't be the last. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. And you guys are from, uh, you said Space Coast, right? Yeah. That's so, by Cocoa Beach. Four or five hour drive. Nice. And are you guys staying? The water here are like two different, two different worlds. It is certainly a two different ways. to come to the Keys. Awesome. Hey, well, we appreciate it, guys, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you all next time. Thank you. Yeah, can't wait to be back. Thank you. All right, guys, we got John here, and uh, he's a little regular. These guys come down. Um, this is his dad's boat, and uh, I think he pretty much built this thing by himself. They like to go catch swordfish, and they come from, where are you guys from? From Marco Island. From Marco Island. They cruise all the way over here to come out and catch swords. Tell me a little bit about this boat, man. So this boat was hand-built by my dad and I. Uh, it actually came from Colombia, from Providencia. It's a little uh, coastal island over there off the, the coast of South America. We shipped it all the way here to Miami, had it trucked over to Naples, and uh, built it in the backyard, basically. And here it is. Look at this thing, guys. It's amazing. Like I said, these guys come, what, like once a month? Try to come around the full moon if the weather's good. So. And they like to catch swordfish. I mean, that's what this boat is designed and set up for, right? Absolutely. I mean, as you can see, plenty of open room, plenty of spots for harpooning. We've got the electric reels, so we're definitely set up to do it. We gotta check this thing out. So, if you guys have a really cool boat and you wanna come down to Bud Mary's, come on down. I don't know if you're gonna be able to beat this one, but. This is a sword fishing machine. All right, guys. Well, that was a pretty cool custom swordfish boat. I've seen that boat at the dock for a few months now, and it's kind of cool to know the story behind it. All right, let's take a walk further down the dock and check out the Miss Alamorada party boat. Springs on! All right, guys, we got it right here. How was it today, man? It was hot, but it was, it was phenomenal. The bottom bite was great. A lot of porgy action, a lot of mango snapper action, and it ended up the day with a big old sail. Awesome, dude. Looks like you guys got a lot of fish to clean, so I'll let you get back to yeah, work. Yeah, tons of fish to clean. Everybody's going home happy with, the, right. with a big meal. All right, man. Well, you have a good rest of your afternoon. Yeah, bud. It's so, you. It, feels, it feels so good at the end of the day with a nice sailfish yep. under the belt. That's kind of a rare catch for you guys, too, yeah, right? It's not a rare catch, but you got to be there at the right time, the right moment. And we were there at the right time, right moment, right piece of bait out there. Did you guys have live bait? We had some live bait, but he didn't eat a live bait. Oh, Dead wow. bait. Did it make a lot of tangles? Absolutely not. <laughs> he picked up the anchor, everybody was out of the water real fast, we chased that sailfish down, backed him up, and got up to the boat for a clean release. That's awesome, dude. All right, man. Well, you have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, man. If, if you stick around a little bit longer, we might have Aaron jumping in the water for his first selfish catch as a mate. <laughs> Fish? Uh, that's a lot of color, guys. All right. That's what I like to see. Just loose up your marks. All right, guys, we got Ben here. And he just got finished fishing on the Miss Alamorada. What's up, Ben? How are you? I'm not, not too bad. How are you? Doing good, man. It looks like you guys had a really good day out there, huh? Oh, it was awesome. No, no complaints at all. We had a great time catching a lot of fish, big fish, happy fish. <laughs> Do you come down to Bud yep. Mary's often? Uh, this is actually my first time, man, but I would recommend it for anybody that comes. It's, I, it's a good time. Guaranteed have a good time. 
Excellent. Uh, Captain and mates, what do you say? Um, I wouldn't ask for better. I couldn't ask for better, to be honest with you. It was all, they were hospitable, and when we asked, they were there. It was great. Excellent. And well, hey, we appreciate you coming down. Thank you, buddy. Uh, thank you, guys. Have a great one. We'll see you next time. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching another Bud and Mary's Doc Walk. We appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Looks like we got some cold weather coming in this week, so fishing might switch up a little bit, but stay tuned to see what's going on.